I think the the world of students has just completely uh, lost their mind because they've started to ask questions on comparing whether they should pursue CFA or CA, and that question for us has never made sense. And in this video, I'm going to not only talk about the differences between CA and CFA for all of you who need it, but more importantly, the right path if you are contemplating between these two qualifications. So before I jump into it, if this is the first time that you visited the channel, then please do hit like and subscribe if you find value from this video. Share it with people who you know are struggling with the same decision. And if uh, there's anything else that you'd like us to add, please let us know. We'll make sure that we add those in the next list of videos. All right. Now, CA versus CFA. First of all, guys, when you're asking this question, I hope majority of you all have done basic research because this question only comes when you don't do basic research because CA and CFA, how can a student have the a doubt on which one to choose? Both are, the, the, the reason to even think of both are actually quite different. Just because you're in commerce, just because you think it's something to do with finance and accounts does not mean that they're the same course. So first of all, we made detailed videos on CFA. Please have a look. Uh, let me quickly tell you the difference between CA and CFA. CA is the Indian Chartered Accounting course. Chartered Accountants are those who cover everything in the field of finance and accounts, including whatever is covered in CFA. So think of CA as the superset, CFA as the subset, but CFA is deeper and more specialized in the finance aspect, whereas CA combines finance and accounts, right? So that's part, part one. CA has the entire gamut of topics from accounting, uh, costing, financial management, audit, tax, law. Whereas CFA, uh, they do touch upon majority of these. They do touch upon financial reporting, which is a financial statement analysis, which is accounting. They do touch upon um, all the non-finance matters and they really deep dive into finance with the likes of derivatives, portfolio management, and as per the new rules, private wealth, private market, which is not so detailed most people, as always, are again confused between accounting and finance. Let me once again, again, guys, I've made many videos. Please do have a look. But for you guys, what finance is all about money. It's all about how do I acquire, how do I manage, and how do I deploy my money. And accounting is about keeping track of my money and making analysis of what have I done with my money in the past so I can manage and deal with the money better in the future. It's genuinely on you and what you really are better at. But that's the gist of, first of all, the right way to start approaching these two. If you want to get into uh, specific fields, whether it's audit, whether it's tax, whether it's accounting, whether it's business for that matter, or you want to enter things which are into the financial markets, the capital markets, you want to enter into portfolio management, etc., etc., you'll know, first of all, that's one side to start. The other way to start is people look at passing rate and duration when they're students. CA minimum will take you four and a half to five years. Passing rate is difficult, but then so does your, so is the reward that high. CFA, very difficult exam, no doubt. It takes you minimum of two to three years to complete it. Passing rate is low, but not as low as CA. Uh, you become specialized. So that's the way you do both. If I fast forward your life five years in the future, and there's one version of you who's a CA, and one, one version of you who's a CFA, honestly speaking, I don't see that big a difference. Uh, factors external to you, luck and what happens, what kind of opportunities you get might be different. But if many things are the same, it's not like a CA or a CFA has an advantage over the other in the long term. Both are amazing qualifications. Both give you a lot of knowledge and value in the market. So with that all being said, please understand that you do not compare CA or CFA. You do not choose between the two. You actually do self-analysis understand what is it that you might be better at and then you take that up. Now, for all of you guys who are still a little confused, I'm going to give you all another suggestion, which is the combination route, which is the actual route that I've seen the most successful friends of mine, peers of mine take, which is they, they take anyone. Let's in this example, take CA because I've not seen anybody who took up CFA first and then CA, but I've seen the other way around. So I'm going to use that example. There are students who either complete inter CA, which is IPCC, and in the three years of articleship, they start CFA level one at least, complete final CA, move up in their career, and then give level two and level three of CFA. So I would instead suggest 
that if you are at the forefront of your academic career, pick up CA if that's what you really want. Uh, then do CFA. And then if you still have the energy, maybe an MBA. You will be an undefeatable force when it comes to finance and business. However, if timing is not something on your side, which means you don't want to invest four, five years in CA, or you, you're, you've already graduated, or you're a little ahead in your second year, third year, fourth year of college, then guys, just do CFA. There is a much faster and better scope then. So in summary, so in summary, if any of you guys are up to grade 12 or have just cleared grade 12 and in your first year right now, then you can contemplate taking CA first and then CFA. Anytime after that, you must only look at CFA because I don't see people really completing CA by starting it further later in their lives, right? The article sheet period, etc. makes it a little difficult. I hope that this different way of looking at this uh, combination of CA and CFA has helped some of you guys rather than comparing which one you should take. Uh, if, if by any chance there is still any doubt left in your mind, like I mentioned earlier, let me know in the comments. We'll make sure we respond to you guys.